Hello! Today we're demonstrating the uh, usefulness of an iMac, a 27-inch uh, 2009 iMac, as a monitor for an external computer, since the 27-inch iMac, and only the 27-inch model, has that capability. So, we have here the late 2009 27-inch iMac. Um, it is connected to a um, early 2009 Mac Mini with a mini display port cable. Um, you'll see also I've got a, a USB cable hooked in here that runs through a KVM to my trusty 1987 IBM Model M keyboard and Microsoft wheel mouse. Um, so these are actually connected to both the Mac Mini and the iMac uh, through the KVM. So right now as you can see everything's up and running. This is the uh, iMac screen. If we just quickly do about this Mac you'll see that it's uh, you know the iMac. Okay great. So what happens when we want to switch? Well all we do, this is the Bluetooth keyboard that came with the iMac is do command F2. Now it's not actually command F2, it's actually command brightness up. So if you remap the function keys in the control panel, um, you'll find that you have to do command function F2. So just a little FYI there, but uh, now you can see this is the screen of the Mac Mini. Now I can't actually do anything here because the mouse you know, is not connected to the Mac Mini. This is one of the biggest limitations here is that when you use this traditionally with a traditional USB keyboard and mouse they don't actually move over along with the video so you'd have to have a separate keyboard and mouse for the other computer that's attached which is really no fun but since I've got a KVM I can just quickly jump over here and move my input to the Mac Mini which is awfully nice so there's one problem solved so here's the Mac Mini and um, you know in order to switch back I just do again command F2 as you can see it takes about a second to switch but it switches just fine, and the uh, little uh, mini display port cable, you know, works just great. Let's try something else here. Now, if I disconnect the mini display port cable from the iMac, um, the iMac no longer is connected to the uh, the the Mac Mini. So I will reconnect this. This simulates what would happen if, say, you plugged in a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. Suddenly, it detects it. It switches and it automatically sets itself up. Boom, there you go. And you see that the, the Mac Mini actually adjusted to the resolution of the big screen um, as it switched. That's, uh, you know, all well and good again. Um, and I still have my control over here. So um, the problem is that you can't switch from the keyboard, uh, the, the USB keyboard. So if I, I have Alt mapped to command, so if I do Alt F2, nothing happens. And in fact, I also, just to see what would happen, connected this other USB keyboard here and again, all this map to command, and here nothing happens either. So the only way to switch uh, screens is either to plug something in or to put it to sleep and wake it up. So we can try that here. I'm just going to quickly sleep the Mac Mini, and you'll see that it'll switch automatically back to the iMac as soon as the Mac Mini goes to sleep. There we go. All right, and uh, again, if I wake up the Mac Mini, uh, just like plugging it in, it will switch screens as well. Uh, this can lead it to it switching screens at inopportune moments if you leave it plugged in, but I guess that's predictable. Um, but the problem again is that you really, you, you need to use the original, uh, you know, blue, Apple Bluetooth keyboard to switch, which makes this a lot less useful than you might think. And again, um, since it doesn't switch the cable, keyboard and the mouse along with the video, uh, you really need a KVM in order to make it useful. So, unfortunately, although it's, it's a gorgeous monitor and it really works well with a mini display port device, um, it, it just isn't satisfying as a uh, as a sort of a multi-computer screen, like a multi-computer workstation. Uh, now, one more thing you might be thinking of is, well, hey, you know, what else can I connect uh, to this? Well, I, I've got some bad news for you. Most adapters, most mini display port adapters, are one way, meaning that if you connect a DVI to mini display port adapter um, to the back of the Mac, the iMac, and then try to connect a uh, a DVI uh, computer to it, or HDMI, or VGA, or anything else, uh, it just won't work. Um, it has to be uh, DisplayPort digital signals, not DVI signals. So, um, unfortunately, you're going to need a much more complicated and expensive adapter in order to make that work, or a computer that has native DisplayPort or mini DisplayPort. So, so that's no fun. And again, uh, not all computers with DisplayPort, specifically some Windows machines, might not work with it as well. But as far as I can tell, all the recent 2009 Macs with uh, Mini DisplayPort uh, work just great. Uh, so there you go. There you have it.